This is Horan Peep Shot, day 67. Uh, I felt a little bit uh, guilty, not a little bit guilty, a lot guilty, that uh, yesterday I uh, glossed over the stunning uh, usage of Akel Zayim B'chol Yom to describe the Kala. So I want to go back to that day and uh, expand a little, bit, a little bit, a little bit. We're going back to about 17 lines on the bottom of Chesem Ralph. It says, uh, uh, Maxi is the uh, the the uh, the the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the the uh, the 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 they illuminate like the illumination of a sapphire. So there's illumination. So you're talking about the Torah, which goes from one world to the other. Kvod Kel. They illuminate Kvod Kel. Kvod Kel, don't call it Kala, the great Kel. The Chsiv, Kel Zoe Mechol Yom. Kala is called Kel because it's Kel says Kel Zoe Mechol Yom. So Reb Tzodik, in the pre Tzodik and Parashas Noyach, discussed this. He says that, uh, 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 the, uh, uh, this is Parash Oz Gimel. A few lines into Oz Gimel. It says, uh, the name, two names mentioned there, and a man met a shrub, Fresh and Mishpatim, Shem Kel Vashem Shakai. Kel and Shaddai. El and Shaddai. And today the Gemara Shem Moshe. Okay, now, Shem El, he says, is Mias Machus. Moshe Kosov, like quoting our Zohar. Kvod Kala di Kre Kel. Chsiv Kel Zo Aim Bechol Yom. The uh, uh, the Isan it says in the elsewhere in the Zohar, uh, uh, Nun uh, 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 I'm not sure the, the good letter Nun or whatever, or the, the, the Lira or anyway whatever it is was the Mitcham Mikutcha Bichu Bula Min That Is Din Vidayon. The the secret is to be afraid of Kodesh Baruch to know that there's a judge and a ju- uh, there's a judgment and a judge. And bad things happen to wicked people. Begin the was a delay. Hey Tato, and is that is in the secret of the lower hey, last hey the Shem Hashem. Shemi Midas Malchus, which is in the Mida Malchus. Who Adin Dina the Ma who di Adin? And this is the Din Dina the Malchus of Dina, the Din of Malchus is Din, Kaya Dua. Uh uh so the um and he goes on Bazel Shamar Vayom Rula Kel Sumi Menu. Elu Sum Shibuya De Shem Zeh. They, they, they say to the name Kel, I'm not sure which where this is post case, remove, remove from us, go from us, and remove from us the Yisur Yisurin, which comes through the shame of Kel. So the 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 uh, the idea is that uh, Kel represents Malchus, and Malchus is Din. And the idea of Malchus being din mean, means that there is, without the Shamayim Mesapim Kvod Kvod without the illumination, which comes from Shamayim, so then there'd be very harsh din, because obviously there'd be no way to uplift the world in the proper way. So the, uh, the, the even though we're here to talk about a Kala, but uh, we're talking about Kav how the Kala is uplifted by the chasm. So therefore it means that the ka- kala, which is the meat of kel, is uplifted. Now, uh, probably, in this respect, though it's not mentioned here, sh- sh- kel shakai go together. Kel and shakai go together. Why? Because the sh- shadai, shamar lamo daya, kush baruch Hu calibrated how the shamayim should be misaprim, how much illumination should come from shamayim to aretz, dai, both in the sense of how much or there should be and how much choshech there should be. So that is the calibration which has shamayim is saprim. And then kavod kel, it gives the kel kavod because the kel, the kel now is mitigated and modulated and uh, properly governed in a way which can, you, there won't be kel zoen b'cholyo to prevent the zam because of the shefa which comes down from shamayim. Because of the connection of Kel Shakai, the, the, the Shefa from above coming down to illuminate the Kel from below. 
Okay, that's a, the the um, uh, that's the uh, uh, the, the idea here. Uh, uh, it goes on. The whole yom shata ikre kel every day when there's no shefa, there's no kashba from Matan Torah to uplift it. It's called just kel. Now it's coming to the chupa ikre kavod. It's called kavod ikre kel. In other words, there's a special honor which it receives from being uplifted. Kaviyocho by the Shemai Mesapri. Yakar al Yakar. It gets whatever precious it had, and it gets additional preciousness. And, the, and this precious obviously is mitigates the din, so it's Rachami. And that's his uh, precious. The precious, the here on here, light on light. The Shotana al Shotano. From governance and governance. By he shot to the Shemaim al Chupa Asim and Noyerle. And then that's the time when the Shemaim comes to Chupa and comes and illuminates the Kale. Kolu Chabai, the Skunla Kulu, Ispashi Bishman, everybody who's there is is associated with, with their name. Then Bishman Taman, Odosi, Maseo Dov, Magir, Magir, Herakia. Maseo Dov, Yerke again, please go learn the Dashless Pasuk. My see you are of a ele inun more kayoma de bris. Bahari kala, these are the people who sustain the bris uh, together with the kala. In other words, uh, the my see you are the who are the human beings and similarly the tzaddikim or great tamarachamim. So therefore, they are my see you are of equi more kayma de bris, equi more kayma de bris, and they are those who sustain the bris. Equi my see you are of, like it says. Kedain Omar, Umaisi Adenu Konenehu. They're the ones who uh, erect the bris. Um, uh, 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 the um, uh, they are the sustain the bris. The Mitzvahs goes go learns that's going on on the bris kodesh on the uh, on the mila, but we don't have to learn it that way. Dabris kaim of the well, I guess you do because it says here dabris kaim of the chasim bebris of the barnash. So yeah, <laughs> say that. That's the bris which is uh, 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 shy is in the bris of the uh, person, and that uh, uh, again, it it allows the heart, the 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 din which would come with unrestrained licentiousness or unabated uh, uh, taiva to be uplifted and stop a quote kill, because now it has this special uh, uh, special holiness to it. That's Maise Yodav Magid Harakia. The Maise Yodayim of HaKadosh Baruch the Tzadikim of the Shem of the Bris, they are Magid Harakia. They show that there's a Rakia. They show that there is a, uh, a, a, a Shamaim which brings down the, the illumination to this world and makes people who could be potentially great Rishoyim, if not for the uh, Torah, into people who are great Tzadikim. And they show that there's that connection. Uh, it could be goes to say my son Magid Rakia means that you know there's a uh, there's a um, uh, although there's a uh, eh, never mind. This is about to, I'm about to say I'm just gonna scratch that. Okay, just stick with what we have. And uh, that now the the, the uh, it's a special note from the Derek Hamasir at Khan Lel Shwas. I guess they would say this on Night of Shwas. Okay, so now we're up to our uh, Rabbi Luna Saba again. Uh, the uh, uh, the he says right near Saba Amar Hachi. He said like this: Alti tenes pichachdius b'sarecha. Do not put your mouth in a position to cause your flesh sin. Loy barnash pume lemesi luhur bisha. A person should not be not speak nivel pe or uh, or uh, in a way which should bring him to bad thoughts, lascivious thoughts. The nigorim lemechte lahi baser kodesh. Which will cause him to sin with that holy flesh, the chasim be bris kadisha, which the bris is in, is in, uh, in which is the bris. Rabbi Cain, because he does that, mashin le gehenim, that brings him down into gehenim. Okay, what happens in gehenim? We'll leave for next time.